A bright red rose, colorful birds, and expressive faces greet Wabash Avenue neighbors and drivers passing through. Eric Burge and his daughter Haley have been watching the murals develop while helping a friend renovate a house on the avenue. I like it. It brings a lot of character and color to this little town. I like it a lot. I like a lot of the pieces. It's just some of them are a little different, it's something I wouldn't do, but other than that, I, I like, I think it's, an, it's nice for the neighborhood. Los Angeles-based artist Nuria Ortiz says response has been positive to her huge mural of brilliantly colored peafowl. She paints under the name Miss Yellow, and her work has transformed a beige city street department building that was barely noticeable before she arrived. You know, it, it seems to have resonated a lot with people, if not the peafowl itself, but the colors and just the brightness of it. So it's speaking of people. She chose the colors and the subject matter after doing some research and learning there are peafowl in Indiana. Australian artist Sophie Odling says her mural on the Indiana Steel Fabricating Building was inspired by her five-year-old daughter, Hunter. And she's dressed up in a little crown and wings, which she does all the time. And she's reading a book. And the idea behind it is that the imagination of the book is flowing out and down the side of the walls. Both artists say they were attracted to Wabash Walls in part because internationally known muralists such as Argentinian Cobre participated this year and last year. Also, project curator Cameron Moberg emphasized the opportunity to connect with local residents. He really sold it to me how amazing the local people are. And now being here, I get why, because um, everyone's so friendly. Miss Yellow says the landscape and architecture in Greater Lafayette make her feel like it's a storybook town. Because everywhere I turn, I'm like, oh, this is a pretty little alley, or oh, this is a pretty garden. Like, it's just like, I don't know. The project will wrap up with a community celebration at 11 a.m. Saturday at the Junction House on Wabash Avenue. Chris Morrissey Vitsa, Star City News.